I do know that the more we strive to understand a horse, understand how they think, understand why they react the way we, they do, and when they're going to react, the easier it is to train them, the easier it gets to get them to do what we want them to do. And honestly, when I train a horse, there is virtually no conflict. I mean, I get on the horse and I ride that horse around and, and uh, I've got little techniques that I use, you know, my basics to get that horse to do those little basic things. And then I just build on that. You know, most people uh, ride a colt and then the minute he quits trying to buck you off, they say, okay, well, let's teach him to spin or let's, let's teach him to stop and roll back or let's teach him to do things like that. And, and that's too much of a giant step for a horse to understand or comprehend. The language of horsemanship is simply a way of, of working with a horse to not have those conflicts, not have those misunderstandings, not have those horses get scared, want to run away, uh, uh, get scared and get, get mad, want to bow up. It, it's a way of, of communicating with a horse in such a way that he stays relaxed he stays quiet and he stays in a receptive state of mind to learn. And I guess that's probably the most important thing about it is keeping that horse in a state of mind where they're very receptive to learning, where they're not resistant to learning. And to be able to do that, you have to know how much to do, when to stop, and be able to see the little signs of when they don't understand and stop there or go back and reinforce.